let's buy another project. I've been scouring the co-parts, the auctions, a little bit, maybe. Been looking for certain kind of cars. Had a bunch on my list. Lost on a bunch of them. This is new for me. I normally don't lose. I'm a winner. And by winner, that means I just paid more than everybody else. So in return, I'm kind of a loser. Or am I a winner? Anyways, you guys probably saw this one coming. But you're going to see it here. Tomorrow I have to go to Pittsburgh West location to pick up another project. Because, I mean, i got plenty of room here, right? I mean... <laughs> so currently, the Z is still for sale. Uh, the kid that was going to buy it, the bank denied his loan. He's still looking for a loan. He told me, if you can sell it in the meantime, go ahead. Oh, thanks. I'm glad I have your permission. <laughs> but uh, So, it's still here. I've had lots of people, lots of different offers, lots of different cars. Even though I say no trades, that just means, well, maybe you'll like my trade. No, no, that means no trades. And then also, I've listed another one of my cars for sale. Yep, that's it listed the honda for sale because i'm going to pick the replacement up tomorrow listen i like that honda i do i really do like it but i just um uh, kind of wanted a little bit more room for my that's kind of like my beater vehicle that's one that like i'll take places because i'm scared of parking around other people and stuff you know like the z i don't like to take that everywhere which i did for the longest time the infinity also I don't, like, want to take it crowded places and stuff like that. I don't know. I just don't want it to get all, yeah, you know, door dings and stuff. Plus, that kit is like a plastic, and I'm scared that somebody might hit it and break it. Then to get parts for that, I, yeah, it'd be a pain. So I think most of you are going to guess what I got. I mean, you'll see it here soon enough. So tomorrow morning, I got to get up early. We were going to Pittsburgh <laughs> to get this. And I already ordered most of my parts, lots of aftermarket parts. So we're going like a lot aftermarket. A couple things I didn't need, a couple things I did need, but it didn't need to be aftermarket. But it was like, you only live once. So I'm like, here, take my money. Also, if any, well, I don't know if this will be useful in other cars, but I. Finally got the, the missing uh, armrest for the CRZ. I got the one that I ordered, plus the missing one, so now I have two of them. I'm not sending it back to China. Uh, but, yeah, got a cup holder built in the back, USB ports, power lighting, all kinds. Of, it's fancy for an armrest. So, anyways, my dad's going to go with me on this jaunt. I, I'm He's going to have to get used to the videos. Dad, if you're watching this, you're going to be part of the channel if you keep showing up. Oh, I also got one of these things for taking pinstripes off. It works, but these pinstripes on this fender and the whole car are old and crust. They're like in it. It only took one line off of this fender. I want, I'm like, I'm testing the fender first. Oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong light. So I said, I'm testing the fender first because uh, I'm going to be painting it instead of, you know, doing the whole car, which I got to do here eventually. Because I had another one of these. And I tried it on the Cobalt SS. There was something on the pillar, and I actually burnt through the paint. So I got one of these, because these ones are a little bit better for the... And it did take most of the pinstripe off, but I've been working on that one right there. And it's just so burnt in that it's just not... I don't, I don't know. It's just, i got to work on a little bit more. For the most part, I got it gone but there's still a little bit of remnants there so anyways i will see you guys in the morning when we start the road trip and it is gonna be fun i don't know it might be fun it might not be fun <laughs> oh please i hope this trip goes good
<laughs> See you in the morning. What did I tell you guys? I said, I really like these impresses. I wouldn't mind having one myself. There I go. I lost on like five of these things so far, but all of them were cross treks. So the cross treks are bringing a little bit of a premium. Well, if you don't mind the ride height, the Impreza Sport sits a little lower, has a little smaller tire, and it gets better gas mileage. This is actually the spec, this exact spec that I wanted to get for a Subaru. The Impreza Sport Premium uh, Wagon, and it has heated seats, it has the touchscreen navigation, which we might not use, I don't know yet. I don't like regular car manufacturers, I, I like to use Waze, I like Android Auto. And according, I haven't started this yet, it says it runs, but I, I don't want to run it because there's a whole bunch of snow in the air box, and I don't want to suck snow into the engine, it's just not going to... They don't run good on snow, guys. So as you can see, this is pretty much the exact opposite of the damage on the one in my garage right now. And as you know, we saved, I kept the top beam from his core sport, which really wasn't that bad. So I have the whole top, the whole bottom, the upright, and this side. We have a little bit of damage over here that we're gonna have to mess with. And I really, it's not that bad. I already ordered a bunch of aftermarket parts for this aftermarket headlights, aftermarket intake, uh, a front lip, an exhaust, which I'm glad I did now because I looked at the exhaust flange under the back, it's pretty rusty. So we're putting a brand new one on there. I ordered a grill. I didn't order a bumper because I think we can save this one. It's cracked there, it's pushed out there and cracked and it's cracked down here, but I think we can save that. I do need to get a new fog light surround and I need a new fog light. I got two for the one in my garage, only needed one, so I have another fog light on it. The only downside to all this is I didn't notice the wheels being really curbed up, so I might get these powder coated. Uh, but yeah, this one is the worst one of all of them. But yeah, I'm not, I, I'm very happy with this purchase, especially for sight unseen. So when we get home, I'll go over this a little bit more. As for right now, this is what we got, guys.
I just got this out, pulled the damage out a little bit more. I wanted to see what kind of damage I'm looking at. Radiator and condenser, radiator hose for sure. Broke the end of the dipstick tube off. The same thing with the prop rods, missing the plastic end. Didn't damage the engine, but it busted the intake manifold. We just noticed this and uh, air box and stuff like that, but that's not really too bad. Over on the, the far side, the regulator for the fans, the plug right here, you can see, is off. The plug's still there. It's not that one, it's this one. I might just be able to put the terminals back in it. Rip the wires out of the horn. That's it for the wiring that it messed up. And then uh, core support and the radiator fans are shot, but it didn't damage any of the sensors on the engine. And I pulled this back enough that it's just clearing the pulley. It didn't even shred the belt. I figured that would be the first thing to get shredded, but uh, it's okay. So even though this intake manifold busted, I'm gonna see if this thing will start up because I just checked the oil level and it's good. So, and we do still have the mounts for the fender. That one's all still attached, it's ripped, and that one's detached, but it's still there. So I can still use that. But yeah, let's see if it starts. <laughs> so two reasons why this thing sounded like crap when it started up the intake manifold being shattered we knew that and then the i don't know if this is the air, mass airflow sensor sheared the plug completely off it's still in here so i can get that out at least still have this plugs fine but i'm gonna have to get a new mass airflow sensor well before i even take this thing up to the house it's pretty evident that I need to get an intake manifold and a mass airflow sensor so that this thing can run right but the engine's not knocking or ticking and that's a good thing it was I did idle down but it still ends up running right and obviously that's why so get those two things and then we can well I can't take it up to the house right now because I got another one I got to finish all right so I purchased a used intake plenum and uh, brand new gaskets for underneath and I also purchased a used mass airflow sensor. Um, mass airflow sensor was $19.99. Intake manifold was $69.99. And then the new platinum gaskets underneath there were $12. I think with shipping was like $15 or something like that. I come back down here. I kind of want to look it over. I haven't really got to look it over. It does have like brand new tires. They are Douglas tires, which are like a Walmart brand. I really don't care they're douglas performance tires they do have a lot of tread on them those things are like pretty much new which is nice no rust none which is nice the exhaust like i said right there is a little rusty but up underneath not in bad shape at all and we're going to be coating this so uh everything that does have a little bit of rust on it is going to be protected interior it has got a little bit of sand in here but these seats are like really really nice in this thing and it, it does have a sunroof it has navigation the armrest is a little tore up it looks like it, as well as the steering wheel a little bit tore up but we'll clean it up the best we can back in the back i don't have power right now but um it has the full mat in the back it has the drawback cover the spare tires in it and the jack is in there but the tow hook's missing so i don't know what happened to that it's got these fake rally armor mud flaps i'm probably going to do away with those i don't know if i want those on there all they do is create wind drag and uh that'll hurt your gas mileage probably not that much maybe half a mile per gallon i don't know but i i don't know on certain cars they look okay i i just i don't want them on this one thankfully this door is unscathed we're going to, have to do the same thing with this fender as i'm doing with the one in my garage right now uh so yeah that's how they bend <laughs> the same exact way right there's that u-shape but we're going to reuse this fender so there's that and i'm going to try to save this bumper i think i can do it i mean it's ripped across the bottom on each side 
cracked across there, cracked on the inside there, that. I think I can fix all of this. So, yeah, I'll probably do away with the license plate holes. Get rid of that, that hump right here. I might do away with that and do away with these holes and do a smooth face because I think that'll look a lot better on this. Otherwise, what I was surprised about, every tab on the bumper is still still attached. It's still there. Here, inside here where the grill's at, all of that is still attached. The frame's untouched. Right here, it ripped this piece off right across there, which we're going to have all this apart. I can buy this piece, and I think I might do that. Um, that piece is actually untouched. This is a separate piece down here, but it's not bent. It's just, well... Maybe it is. No, it's not. It just ripped this piece right here. Or we might just reshape that because, honestly, it's thin metal. And you've seen me work the other side on that one. This is just pushed down like this. I don't think it's it brought the whole piece down. But uh, we'll get measurements on one side as opposed to the other and see how far off we are there. Now, I'm surprised, like, I actually pulled this out by hand some. I'm highly surprised it did not break the cam solenoids. Either one of them didn't break any of these sensors up here. It ripped the coolant tube, but it didn't damage this piece. It did bend the bracket on top of the alternator right here. And I grabbed a hold of that and pulled it back. All this is is a bracket that holds that piece which i'm gonna have to straighten it a little bit more but the alternator looks like it's fine i don't see any damage on that everything's still solid up here and uh although it rubbed through this ew although it rubbed through that that pulley looks fine everything looks good over here i don't know that the condenser actually broke i don't know if there's a hole in the system but it, it, it needs replaced because look, look at that. If there's no hole in the system, it's still, it's bad. So we need fans, radiator, condenser. Yeah, there's a, there's a good bit of mechanical stuff here that we need to get tidied up before we get into body work on this thing. But we also got to get another car finished before we get into anything. And I'm curious what you guys think I should do because these wheels, these two need refinished. So I'm probably going to redo all four. Well, what color do you think they should be refinished as? I've thought of black, because I'm going to do some things on this thing with some black accents. Or do you think I, I'm going to get them powder coated? I'm not plastic dip them. Do you think I should get them gold? Because this gold on white looks good, and especially on a Subaru. I don't know. Is it just me? I don't know. You guys tell me. How the heck did they do this? I just noticed something. Look at this door. Now look at the passenger door. Like there's no other damage here, but look what that look what they did to the door. I'm gonna try to heat that and pull that back out to the best of my ability. We're gonna have to do some uh Todd's uh PDR here, but that's not I don't wanna have to paint the whole way over to here. I only wanna have to paint right here where I gotta do the body work. Now I kinda wanna mess with the stereo. I don't know how long this is gonna supply power for but we'll see so let's see I'm getting this out of here I'm not gonna start it we're just gonna get to accessory there we go this has a Starlink system and I've never messed with that before is it is it gonna keep beeping at me oh I cut power son of a so the last owner's name was Jeffrey. He had a co-buyer of Garrett. Okay. Um, and they purchased this October of last year. <laughs> he didn't have this car very long. He purchased it pre-owned in October of last year. What I paid for this thing, my winning bid was thirteen hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, after fees it was eighteen hundred and fifty four I believe eighteen hundred and fifty four bucks this guy bought this just a couple months ago and he he traded in a car but purchase price on this was twelve thousand five hundred which i I don't think that's that bad that seems to be what the going price price is for these so yeah twelve thousand 
12,500 is what this just sold for a couple months ago and it, he put he didn't even go in oil change. He put like 3,000 miles on this car before he wrecked it. <laughs> he bought it at 100 123,000 miles on it when he bought it. Yep. Sorry, Jeffrey. Hi, my name is Jeff. In fact, the next service is due in about 2,000 miles or March, the end of March, dating-wise. So, we're still good. The oil does still look good on this. Just found some bonuses, okay? So, these parents probably wanted their kids set up for success in case of an emergency. So, in the back of the seat, we got a poncho in case it rains. We got one of these emergency foil blankets. You know, in case your car doesn't run, you don't want to freeze to death. Brand new set of jumper cables. And, bonus, I've never seen this in a car. A freaking tow strap. A nice one. Jackpot! So, I was looking at this armrest more. And I see now, it had cuts in it. And somebody repaired it. I just peeled this little bit of a patch off. If you look at it, see how it's smooth right here? They, there's there's patch systems you can do, and you put the texture back in. This guy just put the patch on, and then just smoothed it over. So there's smooth spots here, 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 back here. I'm I'm gonna get a new armrest is what's gonna happen, because I don't want this junky one on, on here. But not too bad now. I I don't know what kind of dinosaur is driving this that they chewed on the steering wheel. I think most of it's dirt, but it's also chewed uh, and chipped, and I uh, I don't know. Yeah, most of this is just dirt, okay, but it's still, it's kind of marked up as well. Definitely needs cleaned up. Not mad at this at all. I, this seat actually is very nice in this. Sunroof, sweet! And also, all the ones I was bidding on... It had very light colored interiors, like a light tan or just light colors. Didn't really like the light color. In fact, the ones I really wanted were like a two-tone with like a silver and orange stitching. Most of those were all cross tracks. But these are very nice. These are nice cloth seats. Heated cloth seats, I may add. And I don't I don't understand. Look at this. Look at this uh four-way button. It's like it's I don't even know what happened to that. It's like it dried out. I don't know. So I just tested the radio out. The stereo sounds really good, but I don't know. I might just leave it stock because it has a lot of nice features that are built into the car. And like I said, it sounds really good. I did find some aftermarket wiring in there. I pulled the fuse panel thing out and there's speaker wire run through there. So I believe... This thing had a stereo in it at some point. I can't find the wiring anywhere else, but it sounds good. But that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys are excited for another Subaru build, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. This car is replacing my Honda CRZ. Just so you know. Hit that dislike button if your mom can suck start a diesel at below freezing temperatures. See you on the next episode of Red. Sleepy? Is she sleepy? Want me to leave you alone? 
How do you reach your back leg past your head? What is this? You're not amused. And then you, you're in my seat. Do you want to say bye-bye to the people? No? Was that too much for you? This, hey. Sir, sir, I'd like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty.